Hi everyone, Roxy here. I just thought I would show you my Karen Dash gouache studio set. I thought this was really cool and I just wanted to try it. Um, I have Holbein and some other gouaches and tubes and jellies, but this was so different. So here I am looking at the packaging and oh, look on the inside, it looks like I could do some swatches in there. So that's pretty cool. The reason why I got this um, gouache set was because I figured it would be something I can take with me like for traveling. Um, I could probably maybe just throw it in a big purse. It comes with a um, synthetic paintbrush and I thought, yeah, I could probably do sketches with this. I also thought instead of like pulling out my cheaper gouache paints and squirting out some paint or opening up my you know, jelly gouache, which is kind of big and messy. I thought this would be more convenient in terms of, I just want to sketch something in gouache real quick and this is the way to go. This 14 piece set comes with a watercolor brush. Um, it's synthetic and size eight. It's a pretty sturdy um, brush, um, the tips. It's not a soft synthetic, it's a pretty sturdy synthetic and um, it's a good size, it's a nice brush. This set comes with the typical warm and cool colors. So warm yellow, cool yellow, warm red, cool red, etc. It also comes with some um, neutral, which is gray and black, and earth tones. The first layer of some of these are a bit streaky. I'm sure if I added a second layer, it'd be uh, a lot more opaque. But I noticed the emerald green so pretty and I do see a little streakiness to it. So I'm gonna compare it to some Holbein emerald green so you can see the difference. The home, um, Holbein is a lot more opaque and so Holbein is a artist grade gouache and Karen Dash is a student grade. So that's probably what the difference is there. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out the Karen Dash uh, Emerald Green next to the Holbein. That way you can see better for yourself what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Carmine Holbein uh, gouache and I'm gonna swatch this out and I'm gonna compare it to the Carmine Lake of the Karen Dash gouache. Visually, is there a difference between the two? And really, I don't see any streakiness. It looks very opaque. So when it comes to the red, I would just say they're very comparable. It's really nice. Now it's time to really test them out. I'm going to just create some really simple flat flowers and add some details all over my page. And I just wanna feel how the paint flows, how the brush works. Um, do I have any problems with um, transparencies? Um, is it is are most of the colors pretty opaque? Just different things like that. I'm gonna be um, trying to just take in the whole experience. The magenta in this set is not very opaque. It's very transparent. So I just mixed it with a little bit of white gouache and I got this really nice bright opaque pink. Here's my gouache, um, Holbein gouache um, palette setup. And I liked it, but if you don't use it all the time, it will grow mold, So, um, and the lid broke. So it's not gonna hold up that long. I think I had it for about a year. This Karen Dash gouache set is probably a lot easier to just travel with. And so that's, again, one of the reasons why I got it. So the paint is really silky and just really fun to paint with. As you can see right here, it's just, it's just, it just glides on so easily. I love it. This is yellow green mixed with a little bit of emerald green. I did not put any white in it, so you can see a little bit of streakiness. So 
so far I've been using the pure colors that are there, but I wanna go ahead and mix a deeper, darker green. So I went ahead and used the green along with a little bit of red, and um, I might have added some yellow in there also. Overall, I must say that I really love this squash set. I love it because I know that it's convenient and I'm gonna use it for practicing a lot. I'm not going to practice using my jelly or my Arteza gouache. I really love the texture of this gouache. It's going to be a little harder, you know, if I have to mix uh, colors together to create a new color. I get that, but that's only going to help me in the long run. So I just want to let you know that I enjoyed it, and I think anyone that purchases this will enjoy it as well. I also decided to go ahead and just paint something a little more uh, difficult and I decided to paint an orange and look at this it's so soft and silky and smooth and I just love it I mean it's really good I would say the background was more difficult because you don't pick you can't pick up a lot of paint because the um the cakes are very dry and you have to add a lot of water but you know I, I learned my lesson that way just use it for practicing and creating details and don't use it for a background use another gouache for that and if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.